So in this video, I shall be upcycling my old CD into a new mixed media photo frame fridge magnet. Hey guys, welcome to my channel Kanika this side from Handmade by Kanika. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn the bell notification on so you never miss an update from us. So let's get started. So I am taking up the CD and what I am going to do is to start off here I have my Art Basics Heavy Gesso White and I will be applying one coat of it onto the base to prime my surface and all the materials which I am using in this video is listed down below so just in case if you want to buy them you can check out the description box. And as in this project, I am upcycling the CD, so I had tried using the products which are readily available with everyone. And as well, if you want to see more of such upcycled projects, make sure you like this video. So as now the layer of gesso has dried, I will move on to the next step. So here I am adding some textures using the texture paste graphite. So just in case if you don't have this kind of texture paste, you can make your own DIY grainy texture paste. You can check out the video number 48 on our channel as well you can check out the description box we have mentioned the link. So now I am randomly applying the texture paste onto the outer area as I already have the composition of the project in my mind so as per that I have applied. Here I have the corrugated sheet so what I am going to do is I am just removing this top layer to give the natural look and then I am simply fussy cutting it randomly by giving it a shape like this. So I already have a pre-cut corrugated sheet which looks like this which I will add onto the center portion of my project. As well if you want to see more of the mixed media tutorials you can check out my mixed media tutorial playlist as well so i'm using my art medium to stick this onto my base So now I'll add more dimensions by adding different different types of products. So here I have the reft over impression from my redesigned Prima mold which is the regal trimmings. So I have these pieces which are the left over and if you want to see where I have used them up so you can check out my video number 86 and I have done a beautiful project so you surely don't want to miss to check out that tutorial. So now I am randomly building up the layer by adding these leftover pieces here and there and here you can see I have this leftover piece. This is as well one of the impressions from my Prima mold and I am using it up. So these are the impressions which I have taken up on paper clay and while storing them they just got broken. This is the leftover piece impression from my prima mold which is the mechanica so here i have this mdf frame which says memories which i'll place this will be my focal point basically which i will place like this and keeping in mind that i am doing the composition of my project done applying all the layers so now I'll just prime everything so that I can color it up so here I'm just adding a coat of white heavy gesso again so that my surface gets evenly primed also I would love to know that you like working with black gesso more or with the white gesso more so do comment down below your preference i would love to know your preference and i would love to read your comments 
so i personally love working with the black gesso more so these days if you have noticed my video tutorials i had been working more on white gesso so that i be comfortable with this as well so now moving on to the next step here i have the picture of my knees and i am just marking the areas which i want to trim so that the picture fits in the frame very well and then i will trim off the excess and then stick it on the back side of the frame so now i'll start to color so for that here i'm using the art alchemy waxes in the shade indian pink and firebird i just love working with the waxes so to start off here i'm using the firebird wax and if you have noticed my tutorials i use majorly the waxes as i just simply love working with these so likewise i will switch between both of these waxes and color the surface making sure that both of these color blends very well so the reason i'm using both of these colors is that the picture has the shades of pink so i wanted the background to merge in and just to add a little bit of contrast i'm using the firebird which is a kind of orangish shade Also we share a lot of tutorials and inspirations and hacks on to our social media handles so make sure you follow us on Instagram Pinterest and Facebook as well so the link to all those social media handles is in description box So now moving on to the next step here I'm taking up my art alchemy acrylic paint in the shade gold rush and using that i am just simply going to color this frame so the reason i am using this is that this frame will pop out little bit from the base shade and it will as well look very much blended so it will give a very nice look So to add more interest here I'm taking up the paint onto my finger and I'm just dry brushing it you can say I'm just highlighting some of the areas so that the colors blend in very well So now I'll simply stick this frame onto the base and then I'll just add a little bit of embellishments to make my project look complete. So here I'm using these art pebbles from Prima and some of the art pebbles I have already colored using the gold rush acrylic paint and now I'm adding them randomly. I'm using the colored ones as well as I'm using the transparent ones. So I'm using different sizes. I have these embellishments from Pinna Bear which I am going to randomly add onto my project. It will act as a contrasting colored embellishment. So now as it's a fridge magnet on the back side I will add a magnetic sheet. So here I have a pre-cut magnetic sheet and I am adding my art medium making sure that it will stick permanently and then I am adding it at the center like this and I let it dry and tada our project is ready. 
I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. If you really liked it, do comment down below and see you soon. Until next time. Till then, happy crafting.